What's the crack, lads? Hallelujah. It's finally happened. Konami are giving us players for free, but we have to grind from, and also giving us players for free in the eFootball Points store. So you can see here that there's been players added. Yes, this is not clickbait. This is not a glitch. This is not a trick of the mind. Konami have actually added players to the eFootball Points store in forever, since forever. You've got Modric, Trippier, and Olis, right? Olis, this guy is pretty decent as a right midfielder. He's a creative playmaker. You might as well buy all of these boys, honestly, because I think that they're going to really reduce the eFootball points and they'll probably drop them. I think this is just a way for people to say, listen, I have 60, 70, 80, 100,000 eFootball points and I can do nothing with them. Well, now you can. This is actually a pretty decent player if you're looking to train up a creative playmaker that can play right midfielder, right wing, left wing. Very unique card, very unique player skill set. And obviously his player ID is not going to be as good as the end game meta level players that they're releasing, such as Baggio and such as Del Piero. But you can have a lot of fun with these guys, especially if you're looking to get players that are a little bit different, a little bit off the beaten track, and for free. They're 100% for free, right? Now we're going to do our next video is going to be the best free players to sign. And I'm going to wait to see if it is worth signing this guy, even though he is. It's a no-brainer. Like, there's no point holding on to these eFootball points. So all of these players are worth buying. Like, spoiler alert. There, there's no point. Because you're probably just going to end up losing your eFootball points anyway. You could literally just exchange this, buy him, and tra and 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 uh, release him. And just get your XP back or whatever. They are obviously five-star agents, so you get your contracts as well. So I would definitely do that. They're all worth buying. But we'll get into that in the next video. In terms of actually training him up... Balance is good, type possession, ball control, dribbling, speed, acceleration. Very, very saucy. 29 levels, you're going to be able to get a lot out of him. And he's got some nice stats and skills uh, blended in together. Low lofted pass with pinpoint crossing, but then he's also got double touch, cut behind and turn. And then shooting stats and skills. Dipping shot, long range curler, rising shot. And of course, outside curler with that 67 finishing is going to be a bit poor. But he's got 75 kick apart that you can train up with speed and stamina to stack it up to nearly 90. So it is a nice card. It definitely is a nice card. I think Trippier, Trips is a very good player as a right back. He can play left, right, or of course he can play right midfielder. Part of the English League selection, Guardians. This guy is definitely a good player if you're looking for an attack and full back and you're starting off. His aggression can go to 80. He's got 31 levels overall. His tackling can go past 80. His defensive engagement can go past 80. All while keeping him pretty defensive or keeping him pretty attacking. But you could add blocker to him if you wanted to. He doesn't have any defensive player skills. That is a concern if you're looking to have a defensive right back. But I would usually have one attacking right back or left back and one defensive left or right back. Once one of your fullbacks is defensive and playing as a kind of a third man sweep in CB, or if you're playing, of course, the meta 3 CB with an attacking uh, fullback, you can obviously tr uh, swing him in here as well. He does have long ball expert and early crosser. That pairs up nice with low lofted pass. And, of course, weighted pass and pinpoint crossing. Brilliant to get the ball in. 82 lofted pass can go into the 90 zone with 31 levels. Speed, acceleration, kick and power, aggression, balance, die possession, low pass. All very solid. Very, very decent. Very, very solid. Definitely, for a free player, not a bad option at all. And then, of course, we have Luka Modric. Now, this is definitely... Goes without saying, lads, I think Modric is definitely worth it. He's got 33 levels. We're actually going to just buy him straight up and train him up. Now, I've had multiple versions of Modric. This guy, for 33 levels, is going to be able to get into a nice position, right? A nice position on your squad. I feel like Modric has definitely been one of those cards that Konami have just said, you know what, let's make him even better than he is above his stats, right? Now I'm going to get into another video where I show you the best players to sign because you can also get the free players in the Arsenal pack. But I definitely do feel like that this Modric can be very, very effective, right? Especially if you train him up quite nicely. Now we're just going to train him raw, right? We're not going to spend too much time doing it. We want to get that speed up to as much as we can. We'll just throw in a couple of points in here for him. And get him up to an effective level. I think that's kind of where we want to go with him. Is to just have him as kind of like an orchestrator. To be able to come in off the bench or to start for us. And sometimes, do you know what lads? It's not just about playing with the meta players all the time. Sometimes it's just about playing the game to have fun. You know, I know some people don't really think about that too much. Because they're just focused on winning all the time. Um, but I mainly play this game just to have a bit of banter. You know, that's genuinely what I'm kind of playing this game for now at the moment. So I think the big one with us, lads, is to get the speed up to past 80 as well. That's going to control the kick and power. The acceleration is going to be 80. The balance is going to be 93. 92 tight possession. 84 dribbling. 90 low pass. 89 lofted pass. We can work on that a little bit as well. We're not going to focus on anything but attacking. So I would probably only be playing Modric here. I, don't, I know we don't have the shooting of somebody like Kevin De Bruyne with 85. So we're going to have to have a different style of play. It's going to be all intricate 
twos, you know, bringing others into the game. That's where he kind of falls down is that he doesn't have that many shooting uh, skills. Like he does have rising shot, long range shooting and outside curler, but he doesn't have the stats to back it up. That's where you'll need to overcompensate with the kick and power, right? So we would like to go to the 90 with that. The rest of his stats, you can kind of do what you want with it. Yes, you can get to dribble into 90. I potentially would only probably pop one more into dribbling. I don't feel the need. I'd also probably pop one more because it's going to cost us just one point to get the loft to pass the 90. So now you've got 95 ball control. You've got 85 dribbling and 93 tight possession. Very solid. Don't need to work too much on defense. But if you're like me, you always like your cards to be fairly okay defensively. And I would probably pop three into defending. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, it probably flies in the face of having him as an attacking midfielder. But you've kind of really revamped this card with 70 aggression and 75 defensive engagement. He will wi win ball back for you. Kind of like Pedri, they will win ball back for you. Now, you don't need to focus too much on his physical contact, his speed, his acceleration, anything like that. Only if you want to get the balance up a little bit more to 95. And that's probably what we will do because it's not going to take that much. We can get his balance up to 95, his acceleration to 82. His speed is going to be at 80. We could adjust that for the kick and power to go to 90, but it's going to cost a lot. So I would probably, if it was me, I would probably put up his attack and awareness a little bit higher or else his dribbling. His dribbling is going to take very little to get up. Um... But I think putting two more into his attack and awareness is going to make this card very, very nice. Acceleration at 85, balance at 97, his passing, his dribbling, everything is spot on there. You've got a couple of left over here if you wanted to go with that, you could. It depends. I mean, if you want to go with 85 acceleration, you can do that and have him as an absolute beast. You're not going to be able to get the stats any bigger than that because his lower body is going to cost four points to go up. So, I mean, it depends. If you want to pop one into that or you want to pop two into that or into finishing, I would probably go with the finishing there just to get his curl up a little bit at 86. It's over 85. That's probably where I would go with him as a really solid free option. It's a fantastic card. So there are the three players that are for free that you can get on the eFootball Point store. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Did you sign Modric, Olis, or did you, of course, sign the other player that's in there as well, which is Trippier, right back, left back hybrid. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you in a bit.